So you're starting a new rendering project in Lumion and everything is ready. You go into export and you realize that you're having to reassign all your standard materials. Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. In this part one, I'll show you how to optimize your material library in Revit so that your standard materials are showing correctly in programs like Enscape and Cubity. In part two, I'll show you how to achieve that in Lumion. Let me show you. So this exercise has a different goals. One is to reorganize your materials so they are easier to find for you and for your team and for sure to be able to visualize materials with the right texture and that would apply to Revit and hopefully to Enscape and other programs. One of the programs that we use the most for visualization is Lumion and we wanted to see what it would take to build a material library in Revit that could also be reused for all these programs without having to rebuild all the materials every time especially for materials that apply to 70-80% of your projects, it's always good to have a solid base library. Now, let's go through the steps. Number one, come up with a material naming strategy. This is critical because you wanna be able to create these materials and you wanna make sure that your team knows how to find them. Of course, you can come up with your own strategy just as an example, and this may give you an idea, we chose the specification section as our criterion to define our naming strategy. So as you can see, you have the section number and then the material and then more information about that material. That way you're able to easily search or simply scroll through the materials and find the material that you need. Step two, you want to hunt for seamless textures. Now, what you want to start with is the out-of-the-box Revit materials and see if you like any of those. We went through this exercise of verifying all those textures and bringing in new textures and creating new materials. Now, think of textures that have to be seamless because you want to set it and forget it for the most part. Think of stucco, think of concrete, chipboard, and all the site textures like crushed granite, grass, all those textures you want to make sure that are set so that they're ready. And if you have to create renderings in an hour or two, those will be set and you can only worry about the project specific ones. Number three, create the materials. Now to create a library of materials and also to make sure that you're organized while you do that, I would suggest creating a new library and give it a name for example your standard library new library and save now at this point every time you create a material which means basically an asset that lives under this material variable you can select the select the asset and drag it into your library and that's how you can start building your library now, make sure that the library is saved in a central location because you want to be able to redistribute that library file to the rest of your team. Now, how do we make sure that that library is accessible by our team members? I would place it in a central location. Let's pretend for a minute that this is a network location and you want to be able to have a folder that has all the textures and the material library that we just created to make sure that you actually have that material library added to your revit you would go to file options and rendering and here's where we you can add a path and this just happens to be the material library i need to show so that's my new path and then from that moment on, as soon as you switch to realistic, all your team members should be able to see that material library. So let's start Enscape and see what it would look like. Great, so once you're in Enscape, you can probably zoom in and 
where you need to be. Let's switch to walk mode. And you can see that these landscape assets are showing correctly. They look realistic. I also, the planting looks pretty realistic. And you see that, you know, all these materials are looking seamless for the most part. And again, these are some of the basic materials just to show you. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough just to kind of give you an idea of what the building looks like as we're going to look at it in different programs. But essentially, we develop some simple materials, uh, some tiles, some um, wood floors, and concrete, just because we wanted to make sure that some materials would be the, the a good core uh, material set that you can use in all projects. And for example, if the jib board has the right texture that's seamless, then all you have to do is uh, change its color if it needs to be a certain paint color and so goes for the concrete. If it looks good, all you have to do is just uh, tweak the colors. Same goes for, for the baseboards and um, all the other details of the building. What about you? Do you have any rendering standards or productivity tools that would help with this? Let me know in the comments below. And also don't forget to ring the bell because I want to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.